Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here today with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Healthier Choices Management Corp with ticker symbol HCMC and their latest first quarter of this year 2021 results. So if you're interested in that, definitely keep on watching. So as we can see on the graph, minus 17.5% of yesterday's sell. And that's very unpleasant to see. But if you go into the market right now, a lot of the growth stocks, a lot of uh, penny stocks, are going down without any reason whatsoever people are just shorting the hell out of it or are just panic selling because you know they haven't been in the market for a long time so they aren't really aware of the stock market correction and they are just new to this so they panic sell definitely invest or trade with a strategy and stick to your strategy you know uh, manage your risk to reward uh, and all that kind of stuff with that intro let's get now into the quarter results so as we can see they had their first quarter financial results for this year so what is actually good news that they've delivered strong results with an adjusted EBITDA improvement of nine percent year over year the net sales from operations amounted to approximately 3.5 million down 40 percent from the same period last year but it's a significant portion of decline related to last March's Rona Rona sales surge in the grocery segment. People were panicking, people were buying as much food as possible, and then the food ended up in a trash. And it was a really big waste of food. You know, it is what it is, and this is what happened, and now they have less net sales. We could have seen this one coming. Total operating expense was approximately $2 million for three months, and at March 31st, a decrease of 15%. So that's a great sign that they are getting their operating expenses down net loss from operations was approximately six hundred and ninety six thousand dollars one percent decline from the prior year so nothing really extreme and as mentioned adjusted EBITDA loss amounted to three hundred and ninety four thousand dollars an improvement of approximately nine percent when compared to the same period last year Jeffrey Holman chairman and chief executive officer of healthier choices management corp said we are pleased with our first quarter results which reflect the normalizing of sales and the increasingly improving momentum of our operating cost reductions. Mr. Roman concluded, we continue with our commitment to better the fundamentals of our operations. The progress made is larger attributable to simplifying our structure and sharpening our focus and we believe that the, our businesses are well poised to continue delivering operational improvement. So of course the CEO will not say a bad thing about this company but you have to give him a credit because they've been expanding a little bit and you know focusing on their shareholders and trying to put their company in a better position thanks to the publicity they are getting. It opens up a lot of door for them which we will go through in their SEC filings. And if you don't know where to look into their SEC filings just go to sec.gov. It's a security government website where you have available all stocks or pennies stocks being traded they have to be registered they have to file documents so you this is the place where you want to go and then you type ticker symbol or the name of the company and then you select the document you like to read so you know i select quarterly report and boom here we are form 10q which stands for quarter results now right now it start uh, we'll go we'll, we'll go quickly through their assets so as we can see their total current assets have greatly but i mean greatly increased over 100 percent mainly on the cash and cash equivalence part that's actually great for if you look into the sec filings i don't know why they haven't mentioned this uh, in the highlights because this is very important for company to be well positioned with their cash because you never know what kind of crisis can come uh, you never know what is gonna happen or if you'd like to expand massively you need a lot of cash so this is actually a positive catalyst which could come up in the near future that you know they might be looking to expand so great stuff across the board right here at the start and as mentioned here we can see on the right side again uh, the decrease in sales from the previous year but as they mentioned or they justified it that's because people weren't buying that much of grocery this year compared to the previous one but good for us is that the loss from operations has decreased from 664,000 to 532,000 as well as their operating expenses i kind of skipped that <laughs> from 2.3 million to 2.0 million dollars but we can see here weighted average number of common shares, outstanding basic and diluted. So we can see 244 billion outstanding shares and previously year ago 69 nice billion dollars. So we can see a massive dilution 
I don't know, three to four times deleted, um, 3.5 times, I believe, or so, a deleted amount of shares. So this way, it's not really looking good. But if you look from the company, what would you do if you were in debt? You'd like to, you know, put yourself in a better cash position for possible future expansions or just, you know, be in better stable c c position. Of course, deleting shares. It's one of the easiest methods and it works quite well. A lot and a lot of companies do this for easy money. So this is kind of understandable, but it's not very nice to shareholders. However, HCMC came up with a solution, uh, as I made, made in my previous video, that you can get now the shares with 25% discount, discount and you don't lose any value with your shares if you buy the, for that 25% discount. So if you are a big believer, you feel free to do so. but. You know, I'm not a financial advisor, this is not a financial advice, I am just sharing the information how I see it. And as I already mentioned, uh, we can see they've very much took their debt in debt seriously, they want to get rid of their debt, so they've reduced it for four, from 4.9 million dollars to 1.6. What is interesting that two lawsuits were filed against HCMC and its subsidiaries, however, it's, it's over a year ago. And given the lack of the information presented by the plaintiffs to date, the company is unable to predict the outcome of these matters and at this time cannot reasonably estimate the possible loss or range of loss with respect to these legal proceedings. So, you know, there is also another lawsuit happening uh, that some companies are suing HCMC, but, you know, they don't have really that much of information, so I wouldn't really be too bothered with that. On the other hand, here we can see the Philip Morris case, the patent infringement, which everyone knows about. The Philip Morris claims that it is currently approaching 40 million users of its IQS product and has reportedly invested over $3 billion in their smokeless tobacco products. With respect to legal costs, we record such costs as incurred. Careful now, we can see that the company accepts to continue incurring losses for the foreseeable future and may need to raise additional capital to satisfy business obligations and to continue as a going concern. Therefore, we could see well another direct offering or public offering so they can get more money but it's nothing certain it's just they just say it might happen so that's about it i went really quickly through their financials to their sec filings if you'd like to you know know more about it i'll definitely put a link to it in the this in the description so feel free to go through it on your own but if you look into their market cap their current market cap regarding to yesterday is 506 507 million dollars with about 285 billion unrestricted outstanding shares. Here we can see HCMC is still holding 88,000 watchers, so the people aren't really leaving or joining heavily. But, but we can see the message volume has down has went went down heavily when the stock went down. So it goes kind of hand in hand. And last but not least, if we check out shortvolumes.com, we can see the short volume is getting actually lower. Uh, because the stock price goes lower as well. So we can see it's, it is shorted about 25% regarding to sharpvolumes.com, but it's not anything extreme like 80% or so. As we can see here on the graph, like in the ninth, uh, like during the end of January, when the stock price was quite high. So that was my take on current situation with HCMC and their quarter results. In my opinion, the current sell-off isn't really reflecting the company's position. It is very much influenced by the current bearish market and that people are just panic selling. Maybe they want to have cash on their uh, on their accounts or they just or they are switching towards crypto because they are sick of the market manipulation here in the stock market or of the short sellers. I hope I brought you some value. If I did, definitely subscribe to the channel and smash the like button if you haven't done so already. Both helps me out tremendously to move this channel forward. As well, if you'd like to get yourself some free money using Weeble and you haven't done so anywhere else, you can do so by using my link in the comment section or in the description and you'll help this channel out with this a little bit as well. And if you have any questions or you just want to share your thoughts, feel free to do so in the comment section below this video. I go through my comments, I respond if I can and I'm interested in your thoughts about this current topic. So definitely tell me what you think via your keyboard, on your phone or on your computer. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.